morning guys welcome to today same hairstyle different day that's what happens when you move you don't have time for pretty the 31st december the 31st i can't believe it we have a whole new year of vlogging about to start tomorrow and i have like some amazing super fun crazy plans for us this year first i gotta get out of this chair are you ready to move your dog your dog coming now all right you guys like that house is starting to feel empty lots of stuff still here but it's starting to feel empty like wow this is it this is gonna be the last time i'm in this house for a long long time and once we get it all cleaned up and all emptied and we get all moved over we are gonna do you know show you guys around and show you uh a goodbye video we're gonna say goodbye to our house but anyway let's go let's go to the house i'm gonna drive you guys this is gonna be my very first time driving and i'm gonna show you some tricks that i've learned i've learned how to go up the stairs at that house and come down the stairs like things are happening all right are you guys ready to go who's coming with mom me and we're good and i'm gonna die <laughs> You're not gonna die. I can move my feet. That's why it's I been almost three weeks. <laughs> Kids and chickens. You guys are all like, you guys exaggerate so much. You make a big deal of the stuff. It's because this is who we are. We're like, we're we are cautious people. I've said it before. We are cautious people. But let's go. Let's go start our life. Let's go start our life. Are you ready to start our life? Let's start our life. You know it's real when we got the poochies with us. Two in our car, two in Sam's car. Ruby will not Toby's, fit in our car. Toby's like, help me, help me, I don't know what's happening. Oh, look at, look at, they're holding hands. Aw, they're holding hands. Well, they Aww, we need to take a picture and leave it. We'll take a picture on Instagram. Um, okay, anyway, yeah, I can drive. I did like a little tiny test drive and it's good. Actually, I, I've been feeling like getting my hair cut and I feel like like a short haircut would, would look okay on me. I don't know, guys, comment below. It's leaked. That's okay, tzatziki sauce is amazing. So last time we went out for supper, I'm just waiting for Sam to go. He's gonna, I'm gonna follow him so that if like anything ever happened, nothing will happen. It's been almost three weeks. Yeah, okay, we're gonna This die. is my good side. The side I landed on is my bad side. So um, yeah, I ordered nachos, uh, Greek nachos. I love Greek, you guys. And tzatziki sauce and oh my gosh, like these pitas, they make them homemade and they're not crunchy. Like they're kind of crunchy, but they're chewy too. Oh my gosh. So Gabby's like, I eat my leftovers. Do you like the tzatziki sauce? It's ranch. It's tzatziki. Today's been crazy, you guys. Today's been crazy, you guys. Um, uh, we came over to the house. And Sam and Gabby had to go back to our other house to get more stuff. They had to go to the grocery store because I can't really do all that stuff. Um, it's cold in here. It's like, so I told you there was a lot of work being done. Um, so there's a new um, heating system, has a new furnace. Toby is not happy right now because Cookie is upstairs and he is downstairs and he does not know how to do stairs. So yeah, that's what that howling is all about. Um, so yeah, the heating system uh, is all hooked up. We have a new furnace, new everything except the heating system to come to this one room still needs to be hooked up and the guy's not coming till obviously after New Year's. Um, so I'm in Gabby's room and we messed up on the room somehow. All the rooms looked so small when it was empty. But now that we're in here, Sam and I ended up with the smallest room. Sophie ended up with the biggest room. I think that happens every single time. I don't know how. This is Gabby's room and it's freaking huge. So I'll try and show you guys um, from the doorway. But so yeah, her little tiny closet. She has some more furniture that's coming, but she has like all that space. And she has a double closet where Sam and I have like no closet hardly. And then she's got her bed over in this corner. Uh, I wanted to show you guys the outside. The outside is like, it was so nice when we first came to look at this place. But now because the uh, water problem to the barn is being fixed, the whole property like all along the barn is all ripped up. Like there's a huge hole right there. So there's mud everywhere, dirt everywhere. But I guess it's really good that it's like j almost, well it's January and um, it, we can still dig in the ground because it's not too bad. So that's getting fixed. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys where we thought we were gonna put the horses paddy, but it's a hill and I didn't realize that. It's not like crazy. <sighs> Like in the winter, there's no way. I don't know, I'm just gonna show you guys. So um, this is the reason that Gabby wanted this room and it's because she can look outside at her horses. So this is like the big, this this is like the room, this is, this is already mostly made into a paddock and it's mostly cleared. I don't know if you, you can't really see that it's a hill but it kind of goes down on a big slope. And then it goes down where those trees are um, see where that where the you can see where the driveway is going in down there 
Um, yeah, so then it's like flat on the bottom and then there's a big flat part at the top, but it's like a huge hill. That's the best area for a horse paddock because all the rest of the property is pretty much hay and we don't kind of want to wreck that, but um, yeah, like honestly, I don't know how that's going to work, especially in winter. Like I see horses on hills all the time and there are flat areas. It's just annoying. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like it's hard. It's hard moving, you guys. Before I go, though, the paddock is massive. See, it goes all the way over to that fencing, all the way down. So, like, it, it, it doesn't even look as big as it is on camera as it is. But it's huge. It's just that it's, like, a big, huge hill. So, this is Gabby's ginormous room. Um, she all of her clothes have to be put away, but we don't have a rod for her closet yet That was just freshly made and see those are the things underneath her bed the buckets that where her schleich is gonna go But there's lots of room. We're gonna get her some shelves and stuff. There's lots of room for schleich in this room, but it's nice and bright um, Out here in the hall is where I have our bookshelves clearly. They're not um, Filled yet, but this is where our homeschool books are gonna go um, did, I don't know if you guys saw this skylight window up there and then there's a little window there so there's like so much light there's our bathroom this has been literally the hardest thing that we've ever done honestly like all this time I've been so super upbeat about my injury but today I overdid it it's the very first day I overdid it but it's hard not to overdo it because there's just so much going on and it's made it really hard because Sam hasn't been able to be there because he's going back and forth, back and forth. So he has Gabby with him and I have Sophie with me. And so, and then I need Sophie to like, it's just been terrible. I've been up and down the stairs about four times today and I just am aching. It's the first time I've been aching. Like, I know I overdid it for sure, but it's just, I, oh, what a, moving, moving is no joke like it's hard when you have two legs but like shout out to the people that have to depend on other people because it's really hard it's really hard when yeah like it's so hard uh, but anyway we are getting there and that's all i gotta focus on and i think like i'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight like i'm actually gonna sleep in my own bed and i'm so super excited about that um It'll be like the first time I slept in my own bed in almost three weeks. So that is huge. Like, I don't even know why I feel so sad. <laughs> Maybe I need to eat. <laughs> yeah, like, I want to show, show you guys around. Like, and show you what's been happening and what we've got done. And I, I can't even get up. Like, I uh, just the thought of it is just killing me. And Sam would help. Like, he would... I don't know like he he is so helpful like every time he comes home he's like what can I do what where can I go like he's just been helping get like the hot water's not working yet and he's trying to figure that out and our nest thermostat thing I had like all these things on it and it just kept shutting off so we were freezing cold and so like I couldn't figure it out and so he was away for hours and hours and we were freezing and there was no hot water and but we have water and I'm grateful that we have water because as of yesterday and even this morning there was no water here but yeah it's been just huh, just been a struggle and just a little bit too much for me but here comes Sam <laughs> poor Sam he still has to go back and get Levi we left Levi at Levi at home just until we figured out the heat and the heat's working now so I'm excited for Levi to get here what do you guys think about the new house so far when Sam gets home he's gonna hang up all the blinds so that it's a bit more private what do you think about the what do you think about the you like it what do you, what do you think about the new house how have you felt the moving process has been? Horrible. That's our barn down there. So we have, there are people working here still. So that big huge crater that they dug into the ground, it's all filled in now. Yeah, that's our barn, you guys. You can't really tell, but see the light there? I think the door is open. Like, that's our barn. This has, like, been our hardest move. It's been our hardest move ever. Like, it's been hard. There he is. There's Levi. Levi, we moved. We moved to a new house. No. He's like, really? Oh, how can we unzip you? Don't pick apart your cage. <laughs> Whoops. Hi. Hi, handsome. We're here. You're here with us. Oh, are you cold? You guys, finally, our move is complete. Well, as much of it is going to be complete as possible. Um, we have all of our pets here, we have all of our kids here, and we're going to have 
our uh, New Year's Eve dinner. We're gonna have our New Year's dinner at our table in our new kitchen. With all of us sitting down. It's been it's such a crazy day. Whoa, look at this. I hate eating out two days in a row, but it just had to happen. Oh my God, he got pizza and lasagna? Oh my God. 2018 was such a huge year for us. So many things happened. We had Sabrina. I got a horse. <laughs> Gabby got a horse. For my birthday. What happened to you? I had to move. Did you get a horse? Yes. We got Levi. We got Levi. Our family grew. Mom broke her pelvis. We, with our, our family grew by three pets in last year. That's amazing. Like we have two new horses. Oops. We have two new horses and we have got Levi. Um, it was really sad. We Sabrina. Yeah, it was really sad. We had to say goodbye to Sabrina. That was such a sad vlog. Like I can't even hear oh you. Oh my god. That that <laughs> no, I saw it. There was a hand that pulled me. Don't eat my earrings. We finally got a farm. And it's small. And lasagna is so good. I rode my horse on the beach. We went camping. We went camping? We went camping with the horses. We went and we got Levi. Lasagna. Did Levi have a grape? Yeah. We did so many things that I never ever thought we would do. We rode our horses on the beach and that was amazing. We took our horses camping and that was amazing. Like, what was we your took very- horses trail riding. We took our horses trail riding. What was your favorite? We have horses, like that's the big one. Like I can't even believe we have horses and now we have a farm. Like I can't believe in the course of one year, like it is December the 31st and we're finally sitting in our farm, you guys. Sitting in our farm. What was your favorite part? What was your favorite thing that happened last year? He got a horse. I got a horse. And that's your favorite thing to happen too? What was your favorite thing that happened last year? Hmm. Got the truck I wanted? That's true. Not only did we get two horses, but we got a truck and a horse trailer. And a van. I got my van this year. Do you guys remember that we used to spend so much more time at home? We changed barns. We changed barns last year. We have a whole new barn family now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how many subscribers we had last year at this time. I know we had, I don't know how many we had, but I do know that we have a whole heck of a lot more of you guys. Our channel has grown so much this year. It's been such a huge ride for us. And I can't believe that after all the things that have happened to us, there is so much more to come. Like now that we have a farm, we're gonna eventually get to bring our horses here. We're gonna have more animals. We're gonna have chickens. A pony. We have so many things that yet to come. We'll be getting another horse. We'll be getting a companion for Stella when Stella comes okay. to our farm. So we're gonna go camping with our horses again. There's just so. Kaylee. Yeah, hopefully Kaylee and Tex will be able to come. This has been such a crazy, amazing year. Oh yeah, I broke my pelvis. How could I forget that? This year I broke my pelvis. I never ever thought that was gonna happen. So many amazing things happened to us this year and I just wanna tell you guys to follow your dreams, believe in yourself, trust yourself, do it. Just make the jump, do the things that you have been wanting to do. You can do it, you can do it. If get we can horse. do it, yeah. If you want a horse, then get a horse. If, you can do, if we can do it, you can do it. It's taken a lot of hard work, a lot of time, a lot of energy, but we are in such an amazing place right now. Last year was one of the best years of my life. And I want that for all of you guys. I want that for everyone. And if I could make one wish for 2019, I would wish for happiness and kindness for all people. Acceptance and love. Acceptance and love. I would wish to get a nicer pony. No, we're getting a pony. You would wish to get a miniature pony? Seven. If you could make one wish for this year, 2019, what would you wish? For Storm and I to ride tackless. With just a necro on and me with my Helmet on. Upright, that is something to work towards. Sam, what is your wish for this year? To eat as much pizza as I can. <laughs> but anyway, that is it for today, you guys. Happy New Year. I appreciate every single one of you guys for commenting, for following our journey, and for being a part of us. Thank you so much. Happy New Year!
and don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.